Hi here, Finns here. I'm back for another video and today I'm going to be talking about Love Island again because it's been a week or so since I last review it so I'm just going to review this episode of Love Island so it's been like almost a week well it has been a week, it's been over a week actually of Love Island 2021 on our screens um, and I'm just going to review it tonight of what I have just seen and watched and I have to say tonight it was one of the better episodes last night um, not a lot actually happened last night um, yeah it was a bit disappointing last night apart from chugs being dumped that was really only what happened um, tonight <laughs> was a bit more eventful tonight we had a challenge and it was like Mr and Mrs kind of thing what would they say, you know, da da da, and you had to match your couple's um, answer, da da da. And it was all great and fun until um, it came to like uh, what turns off your partner. And of course, Hugo said, like, gave a normal answer fake, people who are being fake. Which then, he didn't realise it actually upset some of the girls for some reason. Because um, they were a bit annoyed that he kept mentioning the word fake a lot. And it was, they thought it was going towards them. You know, I think Hugo was only like meaning fake as personality wise, people being fake, than looks wise. And... Yeah, it got really ugly, a little bit awkward, a little bit unnecessary. I mean, poor Hugo had to go through that. I mean, I do feel bad for the guy. He wasn't being mean. He wasn't being nasty, picking out people. He was just giving an answer. And I, I don't know what was so offensive by that. He was just writing an answer. It's... <laughs> for something that turns him off, and that's people who are fake. How is that offensive? He wasn't like saying, oh, you know, she's fake, she's fake, you know. You know, and also, Hugo is a nice guy. We've seen this from day one, and I don't think he's playing up to being the nice guy. I think generally he is a nice guy. And I, I, you know, and he wouldn't hit her a fly, so, to do it to poor Hugo and like Faye and Sharon would make, they made it too much of a big deal, in my opinion. I think Aaron was right. They made it too big of a deal. They should have just pulled him to one side and make it a big scene. I don't get it. I think, you know, because they've had work done to them, they thought he was slagging them off by looking them fake. Um... Yeah, and I just kept thinking, poor Hugo, poor Hugo, he's just so nice. He's a nice guy, he wouldn't do anything mean to them. And he was in bits crying and I felt for him. And it was just so sad to see because he didn't really want to hurt anyone. And Faye, you know, I've struggled to warm to Faye, especially after tonight, you know. She going, oh, I don't care if she's upset, you know. I just don't, I just struggle to warm to Faye. I think the reason why they made it a big scene, I don't know, maybe they wanted to create some drama in the villa tonight. Um, you know, because this series has been lacking so far of a lot of drama, maybe they wanted to, uh, you know, make it a big thing just to get camera time probably I just don't think they should have made it a big deal like make it did they really need to make it that awkward at the end of the challenge I mean you've just had a nice challenge nice fun game to do why would you turn it awkward and mm, I just struggle to warm to Faye I don't know why Ugh, I just mm. You know, and this whole story, oh, she's had plastic surgery to make her self-confident. That's great! Well, it's not great, because I don't think anybody really needs fake boobs or that, or plastic surgery to make you look good, really. But, 
oh, you know, I've had all this work done to make me feel confident. That's great, but you know, Hugo is like disabled. He's got club foot. You see how he feels, you know. You're not the only one feeling like that. You know, you know, I don't know if Hugo's ever told the Islanders about his condition. I, I mind you, it would look off obvious if it's club foot. They would have looked if he was wearing bare feet. Anyway, I digress. But the whole point of this is just... I just feel bad for Hugo, he had to go for it, and I'm happy, you know, this hasn't dragged on, like other things, and they've got over it, they've, he's apologised, <sighs> but, yeah, I just, yeah, yeah, that's all I can say to that is, um, it shouldn't have been a big deal, I mean, what's the big deal? I mean, to be fair, if I was given the question, what turns you off in a partner, I would say fakeness as well, <laughs> to be quite honest with you. It's just a normal answer. I don't know what was so offensive. Maybe you should have clarified it a bit more. You should say, personality-wise, is fakeness that, than just fake. <laughs> Maybe you should have written something a bit more on the chalkboard, but yeah. Poor Hugo. He's just so lovely. Such a nice lad. He's a good egg, Hugo. And you know, what he's been through as well, you would imagine. Um, yeah, yeah. Anyway, also what happened in tonight's episode is we have two new islanders come in. Millie and um, Lucifindia? No. What was her name? Um... Lucevindia, Lucia, I can't remember, Millie and Lucevindia is what we're going to call them, because, I mean, we really only had five minutes of getting to know them, I mean, they don't really introduce them much of the new islanders, like, like, the first islanders that go into the island, they don't have, like, special VTs on them, was it, Luce, Lucevindia, Lucevindia, anyway, um, they entered, two blonde girls entering, you know, didn't really, I felt like we don't know much about them, per se. I don't think they really showed off of who they are tonight. Um, hopefully they're going on dates tomorrow, so we'll hopefully get to know these two lovely ladies tomorrow. They both look stunning, they're blonde, you know, no diversity <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> um, but, you know... We accept everyone, we accept everyone. Anyway, um, and a lot of heads will be turned, as we will see tomorrow night. I think Brad will definitely, his head will be turned. Poor Rachel, who is coupled up with him. I don't think Rachel is going to be in this series for the much longer, unfortunately. Poor Rachel. Um, I would like to think Hugo will get a bit of a chance in there with one of the two girls. It would be nice if he gets a partner. Uh, with one of the two girls. I don't know, I don't know. It'd be a nice story, though. Um, who else? Oh, I do worry, uh, Jake and Liberty, ooh, something bad's gonna happen, because they've been really nice together. They've been a really lovely couple, really getting along. And, you know, with Liberty, I, I've grown to like her. I, at first, I thought she would be, like, the dumb blonde one, you know, be so thick. Um, but she's improved on me. She's grown on me, and... I would, I hope no, nothing nasty happens, nothing horrible is going to happen to their relationship, or like, their heads will be turned out, that would be quite sad, if something really horrible happens <laughs> to Liberty. Um, yeah, I think Toby's head won't be turned, I think Aaron's, maybe, they, they, Aaron and Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, we're not that, you know, in bed, weren't all kissing and hugging, um, at night, so, who knows, who knows, um, who else, yeah, but, and Liam, Liam's head's gonna turn, because he's not feeling it, if, if they and Liam are not, there's no chemistry left, it's all died down, <laughs> you know, there's just nothing there anymore. 
you know, I think he's quite scared of Faye. You know, I, I don't think he, <laughs> he's quite worried after um, being, in, I don't think he wants to be in a fiery relationship, but yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But we'll see what happens tomorrow night. Um, we shall see what will happen. I really would like to see Hugo get coupled up with one of the girls. I bet you it won't happen. Yeah, unfortunately. But you never know. You never know. This is a chance. This is a chance. He deserves someone. You know, it's, it's just been so nice. I, I, I just think he's just a, a nice guy at the end of the day. Shouldn't have gone through all that for just giving an answer to a challenge. You know, those girls were just making a big deal out of it. Oh, just me. Oh. <laughs> but it'd be nice if he gets gobbled up with someone um, soon. Um, in any case, I think that is it for this uh, video. Um, what do you think of the last week of Love Island? Some people have been quite disappointed by the series of Love Island. Yeah, I mean, it has been lacking drama. Usually we would have, like, a, at least some drama in the first week. Um, but it's been quite um, mm, tame a little bit this year. Maybe we're going to, you know, Faye is, is, you know, she's, she might blow, Faye. She might blow, you know. Um, I mean, I, I, I struggle to warm to Faye, but I... I don't want her to leave because I want her to like blow, <laughs> um, you know. But we'll see what happens. But anyway, comment down below, like and subscribe to the video, and I will be back for more content very soon. Until then, goodbye, people. Goodbye. <laughs>